to be really talking through these products because I don't have a lot of time but I will be showing you what I'm using this is Elf Putty Primer and I do have an in-depth tutorial that I'll link like I said if you want an updated one you can just let me know it's very similar to this other routine um, but I just switched out some products and yeah Sundays are literally my favorite day ever because um, obvious reasons, hello, Jesus, but I just love the feeling of Sundays. Even when I used to like go to church when I was younger, I would just love the feeling of a Sunday. Like you get to get cute, go to church, then like go to lunch. I always looked forward to like going to lunch with my mom and my aunts and my cousins. And yeah, I mean, yeah, things are different now, but I I literally spend my entire Sunday at church and I'm not mad about it. I have my matcha and my cute little cup. My skin is finally looking better, thank you Jesus. I do have a little something here, but 
all in all, it's looking a lot better. So I'm so grateful because y'all, I was, I'm not gonna even say that, but it was, it was a rough hot minute. I was like, all right, God, you see me over here. You know how important my skin is to me. And this ain't it, God, this ain't it. This is just a BB cream or, you know, tinted moisturizer, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, like I was saying, I spend my entire Sundays at church. We have services all day. Um, and I just love my church. I love my family. Um, I don't have family in New York, so this is literally my family. I'm so grateful. So. <laughs> If you ever want to come, I always have the information linked below. But girl, you can just DM me, or boy, you can just DM me, and we can go together. But yeah, we have um, services all day, and then we have like meeting, like leadership meetings. And yeah, like I said, it's literally family, so. I feel like I'm just hanging out with like my friends and family all day and it's just good vibes so it's not like oh my god I have to be at church all day I love that for me and yeah I just take a little bit of the lighter BB cream that I have and put it under my eyes because it looks weird maybe I'll do a little here when you have like a BB cream and then you put like a full coverage concealer under your eyes it looks so weird. I used to do it and I'm like, what is this? Why does this, my makeup look weird? And I'm like, oh. So I mean, it doesn't, con sometimes I'll take a little concealer. Uh, I'll just show you because I'm about to do it. Because I got a little dark circle action going on. So what I'll do, I'll just take a little concealer and like dot it here, like the tiniest bit. And I just use my finger and I have a towel right here so I'll even like take some of the product off because it's a little too much but that just brightens me up a little because she'd be tired as you can see I slept in rollers last night <laughs> and if you've ever slept in rollers it is not a good sleep but honestly it's worth it and it's like the only way when my hair is freshly washed it's the only way it's gonna hold curl. It's not gonna hold it any other way. Now my, one of my favorite parts, I should say, my freckles is probably my favorite, but cream blush. I, like I said in my last video, I never, ever, ever pictured myself being a cream product girl because I'm very oily. So I do have to like touch up with powder throughout the day, but I have to do that regardless. So I just love the way like, it's like your, if your powder products start to kind of, you know, throughout the day, they kind of like fade, you have that cream product underneath, girl, that's going to save you. Oh, it's just so cute. I wish, no, I, you know, I'm not going to say I wish I wasn't oily because, girl, I'd be hearing, I'd be hearing that when you're oily, that means you're going to age slower and so I'm not mad about that I'm not mad about that but it would be nice if I wasn't so oily because I think this looks so pretty and so natural but I have to set it with powder like it will melt off of my face and if you're watching this and you know you want to know a more in-depth conversation about how I do these freckles I got you I just posted a video so go watch that the cutest little freckles Now we're just setting this powder. I set my whole face with this just because, like I said, I'm really oily. And then I go in with powder products as well, like bronzer and um, blush. But I just set my whole face with this because it's just a translucent powder. This is the e.l.f. halo powder, which I really enjoy. It looks a little bit more glowy than some other powders because it is called halo glow or something like that but like i said earlier 
I have to touch up my my face regardless. So, girl, it is what it is. Now I'm going to have some bronzer. Get these cheeks bronzed, honey. Get this all on, honey. And then, as you know, I always take my bronzer and my crease. And other side, and then I go down both sides of my nose. It's so crazy. I've been having a lot of conversations lately with people, and it just makes me realize that I never pictured my life being this way. I never pictured me spending all my time at church. I never pictured myself in ministry ever i mean when people i have a testimony video that i will link to but people from my past they're probably like huh allison <laughs> that's funny but it's so crazy sometimes you know you don't give yourself enough credit or god credit obviously sometimes i just don't think about it because this has been my life for like two years now I came a long way it hasn't always been this way but it honestly it's so crazy when i think about it and like i said i've just been having conversation lately where i'm like wow 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 i am so blessed and i'm just so grateful for this life and for this perspective because listen you know what i've been realizing and telling people the past few weeks is your perspective is everything like it is like life or death it sounds dramatic but it's facts. Try changing your perspective. And then, oh, you can see that makeup I just set out to take with me, but whatever, I'm not perfect. Um, my life isn't always looking cute. Um, hold on. Oh, by the way, I'm just taking a brown eyeshadow and creating like a wing. This, I love doing this because it's so much softer. And like, if you mess up, it's really not that deep, you know? Whereas if you go in with a harsh liner, you kind of screwed. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm just so grateful for this perspective. And listen, just give it a try. I just am like, just try it. See what happens. Try changing your perspective. See what happens. And I just soften it out a little more with a clean brush. And yeah, if you're kind of confused what I'm saying, it's like if you're usually like a negative person, Try being positive. Try not complaining. Try just speaking positively for a week or two. If you're curious and want to see what this life is about, try it. It's so crazy. Sometimes my brows be small, sometimes they be big. They just have a, a mind of their own. I did tint them last night, so I love that for me. Um, I do have an in-depth brow routine that I will also link because I get questions about it all the time. And I'm like, I have a whole video where I talk about how I do a tintum, tintum, film, everything. Okay, now we're gonna set our face. I'm running so out of this and it's my favorite anymore. So Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Falls Finish. Take a sip of matcha. Curl our lashes, apply some mascara. All right, I'm gonna apply my jewelry. And then after that, I'm gonna go brush my teeth real quick. And then after that, I'm gonna come back here and get dressed real quick. This is what I do on Sunday mornings or whatever. I just get up, take my hair out, wash my face, do my Bible time, and spend time with Jesus. And then I start getting ready, make matcha period and yeah that's like my sunday routine um i'll come back and show you guys my outfit though so maybe i'll close the video out there but yeah someone told me i should do this and i thought it was a cute idea so um yeah that's why you're here <laughs> okay 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 my hair is unpinned okay i'm gonna add a lip real quick and i'm excited I got some new lip liners. This is just a NYX one. It's in the shade London. This is Free Spirit. 
I'm just trying these out and mixing them. I thought the London was going to be a little bit darker, but it's okay. It's called mahogany. I had this already. I'll just add this to the outside. Just give me a little bit of definition, you know what I'm saying? And then I got a new lipstick. This is, um, I've had this before. It is MAC um, Teddy, Velvet Teddy. and But this is in their new formula. It's supposed to be like a soft matte instead of like a matte matte, so it's not going to dry you out. It does feel a lot creamier than their other ones. I'll show you guys my fits. So it's just this long sweater dress that I paired with some tights. I got this from H&M, super cute. And I just paired it with these boots. Ooh, these new boots I got from Zara. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like huge right now, but it's okay. Um, it's gonna fall. Um, as you can see, I was kind of rushing through my outfit, but yeah, it's just this little sweater dress. I got all my necklaces on, not wearing as many as you usually do, but with tights and boots and yeah, just comfortable because I'm always, I'm a uh, part of the worship team, so I'm always like dancing around and sweating. So honestly, I try to be comfortable on Sundays if I can. Sometimes, you know, it just be the fit that I need to wear. But um, yes, I hope you guys like this. If you want an updated like hair routine or makeup routine, just let me know, you know what I'm saying? Um, please like, please share, please subscribe. I'm looking in the viewfinder. Oh my God, I'm sorry. And I'll see you in my next video. I love you and Jesus loves you more. Bye.